when you log in as a student, there's actually two sub tabs when your students are logged in. And one is called all courses and the other one is called my courses. When they're clicked on all courses, they'll see everything, whether they own those courses or not, it gives them the opportunity to purchase courses they don't have. When they're clicked on my courses, it should only show the courses oh, yeah. they are enrolled in, and therefore those blocked out ones won't be visible at all. So what will actually happen inside the way that you can completely customize how your students do see your dashboard. I'll just take you into a demo account in here to show you how you do that. Inside your courses area, you can basically move around the order of your courses based on the any order that you want them to, to go into. So when, when you guys see the Legends Lab, obviously you can see I've got the kind of introduction section, which is the rainbow section. This should include everything about like with your dates and times of any live calls you've got. It should include links to your calendar. If you've got a Facebook group, for instance, whatever it is that you might want to just give your students information about your particular program. Then you can reorder all of your training, like I've done section one, section two, section three, or group together similar kinds of training. Obviously, everyone's gonna have a different setup based on what your program's about and how you've laid it out, and whether it's a membership or a course. But I'll just show you where you reorganize your library. So you go into your courses and memberships, click on courses and products, and here you have this option called library sorting underneath where it says products there. I'll make this a bit bigger for you guys to see library sorting. And all you're going to do here is literally just drag and drop your courses into the order that you want them to be seen by your students. So you move them all around to how you want them to be viewed and um, it will automatically save when you go back to your products page. Bear in mind, you have to choose the view that your students see to see what your students see. So this is the next step. Here you have the sort option because you're going to go, oh, it didn't work. It's not in that order. Here you need to change the view to library order. And now you will see how your students see it.